lots of people ask me, what can you actually tell from an astrological chart? And I sometimes tell people, well, if I had your birth data, I might have a pretty good idea of what you're into. Huh? Today, we're going to be talking about a very specific indicator in the astrological chart that actually points a little bit to kink. Now today, the five examples I'm about to show you are not necessarily about the dark stuff. It's not necessarily about domination or about BDSM, okay? These are just people who are into a few interesting things and they've taken their interest to an astronomical level. So what I did there. So if you're ready to hear about some pretty unconventional tastes, let's go. Now, astrologically, the particular thing I'm looking out for here is when the sun and the moon in the astrology chart are in the signs of sun in Aquarius, moon in Leo. Or it could be sun in Leo, moon in Aquarius. And it's this specific indicator that shows some people with very unconventional taste. Now, starting from the tamest to the most interesting, we begin with, starting from the bottom, number five. And we begin with Billy Bob Thornton. This is a Hollywood actor who's most famous for his marriage to Angelina Jolie. So one of the things that they're very well known for is carrying a vial of each other's blood in a, in a necklace. So Billy Bob Thornton has come forward to sort of confess about some sex addiction issues. Uh, and some years ago, they made the headlines because he cheated on Angelina Jolie and subsequently sought help with the therapist, but then ended up sleeping with the therapist. Number four. Fidel Castro. So he's most famously known as the Prime Minister of Cuba, although some people have called him the Dictator of Cuba as well. Now, what you may not know about Fidel Castro is that he slept with 35,000 women. So he's known to have women at lunch, at dinner, and sometimes for breakfast as well. Okay, so that's 35,000 and plus, those are the recorded ones. We're not really sure how many are not recorded. Number three, David Koresh. Now, some of you may not be so familiar with David Koresh, but there was a bit of a scandal some years ago in the United States about a religious cult called the Branch Davidians. So David Koresh is the leader of this cult. But what's interesting is that when he was very young, about 24 years old, and he first got involved with the cult, uh, he started an affair with the previous leader of the cult. Now, interestingly, he was 24. She was in her 60s. So that's like a 40-something year age gap between them and that affair went on for a bit. And now later on, after he became the leader of the cult, he started sleeping with some really, really young women. Most of them were underage and he got into trouble for that. David Koresh. Number two, Kate Bush. So at number two, we have a woman on that list and I want to be on record saying that I'm a huge Kate Bush fan. Okay. But in her case, okay, it's not so much about um, her actual sexual behave, uh, behavior and history because we don't know anything about that. Um, but what I'm referring here to is the kind of sex that is referred to in her music. So uh, those of you who are not familiar with her work, uh, she was actually most famous in the 80s, especially in the early 80s, when she was kind of between the age of 17 to about 25 was when she was at the peak of her success. And some of her music was known at the time for being extremely controversial, not just for talking about sex, but about the type of sex uh, that it covered. So three of the songs that I'm going to refer to, the first one is called The Infant Kiss. It's about a governess who was having some kind of sexual feelings towards a boy that she was looking after. Of course, this was uh, based on a movie that starred Deborah Kerr called The Innocents, and that was also a controversial movie. Now, the second track I'm talking about here is called The Handsome Cabin Boy, and it was about a girl, a boy, we can't really tell. Someone who went onto a ship and pretended to be a cabin boy so that he could have sex with um, the pirates or the pirates or the sailors who were on the ship. That was pretty controversial. Now, the third one is called The Kick Inside. And The Kick Inside uh, is essentially about a, a girl who got pregnant because she had sex with her brother. And these, which of course, you know, was an issue with incest. Now, the, the thing is, um, she was at a very young age at the time that she wrote these songs and she got very famous with these songs. So, yeah, so Kate Bush with a very interesting taste. And last but not least, number one. And this is a very unexpected choice. 
Uh, number one is Mr. James Joyce. Okay, so the famous novelist. Uh, and James Joyce has a, a fetish for something that is very unexpected, and this is it. He's into farts. So, um, uh, in recent years, some of his letters that he had written to his wife, these are love letters. Uh, I suppose, you know, in the days before sexting, you know, you kind of wrote letters to your wife that were about sex. On top of all the other uh, references to, to their sex life that, that shows up in, in the letters, what has gotten everybody's attention is how he, he was very, very turned on specifically by his wife's farts. Okay, this was kind of a bit of a fun topic, uh, just something I discovered a bit by accident. I thought I'd just share this, you know, for, for a good laugh with you guys. So I'm very sure that some of you want to go and check out your own charts now. Go use my free chart generator, you'll find the description in the video. And knowing you, you're probably not just checking up yourself, you might actually go and check up your potential romantic partners or even your partners. So whatever you do, you say so bye.